On the next double page, fold the right hand side like a hot dog. Then separate the left hand side into three equal parts. Alright, the title on the left is going to be Linear Inequalities. The title on the right is going to be Compound Inequalities with or and two different sections. On the left hand side, on the complete right hand side, go ahead and copy this down. Negative 20 minus 5x is less than or equal to 5. And instead of boxes and circles, I'm going to use colors. So I'm going to use orange for variables, yellow for numbers. What do I do to both sides? I'm going to add 20 to both sides. So that's going to leave me with negative 5x less than or equal to 25. Go ahead and collect my variables and my um, numbers. Then what do I do? I'm going to go ahead and divide by negative 5. But remember, if you divide by a negative number, what must you do? I have to switch the direction of the inequality. So I'm going to get x is greater than or equal to negative 5. I go ahead and copy that down, solve just like equations, except this is a listening check. This is a listening check. Underline the word solve. Underline the word solve. One, when you multiply or divide by a negative number. Again, one, when you multiply or divide by a negative number. Or and. Or and two. When you rewrite the order, when you rewrite the order, when you rewrite the order. So you're going to solve just like regular equations, except when you multiply or divide by a negative number or rewrite the order. All right, so remember the variable must always be on the left hand side. Remember the variable must always be on the left hand side. This is a listening check. This is a listening check. Circle. The words or slash and circle the words or slash and so we have x is greater than or equal to negative five draw an arrow so you can see that the arrow is going to the right so when you graph this on your inequality graph it's going to be going to the right all right so is it going to be an open or closed circle it's going to be a closed circle i'm going to use actually brackets just so you can get used to seeing it a different way so it's going to be a bracket and it's going to be going to the right from negative 5 to infinity. All the way to infinity. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 4, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, to infinity. So to write that in set notation, it's going to be a bracket, negative 5, comma, and it goes all the way to infinity. Now, infinity does not have a bracket because it's not a number, so it's just a closed. Um, it's just closed. All right, so go ahead and write this down. Negative 4x plus 9 over 3 is greater than 15. What am I going to do to both sides? I'm going to multiply by 3. Put 3 crosses out. And I get negative 4x plus 9 is greater than 45. I want to color my variables orange. My number is yellow. Get all my yellows to one side. It's going to minus 9. Go ahead and cross it out that it's gone. So I'm going to get negative 4x is greater than 36. I'm just going to color my variables and my numbers. I've got orange on one side, yellow on one side. Perfect. So I want to divide by negative 4. Remember, where if you divide by a negative number, you must change the direction of the inequality. So I'm going to get x is less than negative 9. This is a listening check. This is a listening check. Go ahead and put a box around negative 9. Put a box around negative 9. So I'm going to graph it. It's going to be an open circle. And the direction of my arrow is going towards the left. Okay, so open circle, but again, I'm going to get use parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it just so you can see the arrow real quick. Um, open parentheses started at negative 9 and it going to the left. Open parentheses at negative 9 going to the left. Right, set notation is going to be 
parentheses from negative infinity to negative nine parentheses. Remember, you always start with the smallest number, so you don't say negative nine to negative infinity. It's negative infinity is going to be the smallest number to negative nine. So that's how you write set notation.